Hi everyone, I'm I'm, I've started a bit early again to check whether the sounds are right, the audio and stuff, so do let me know, I'll pop onto the, um, the chat. So let me know if the audio and all that sounds all right, and um, I'll trim this off before we get on to when it goes on to YouTube later. But thanks for coming. Uh, I'm actually going to make a live show. Yay, Alec, how you doing? So um, I shall await your, your confirmation that everything is good, and, uh, and then we'll get going in a couple of minutes. And what you, we're working on this, um, that vanished recently, have you seen that? It's quite nice. I'll use that for the demo in a minute. Uh, sounding great. Good. Yeah, so we've got Steve here from Replica 4D. I'll, um, lovely. The, you might hear a bit of a hum. Uh, that's because, annoyingly, the, the microphone's great, but obviously it picks up some out noise around me, which is good. But my computer is now six years old, which is old for a, for a, for a MacBook Pro. And... Um, it's starting to sound like a bit of a hairdryer. So that's the main noise. And there's a bit of office sort of ambient noise here. But um, yeah, so, so I'm, the next thing is I need a computer, which is it's two and a half grand again, isn't it? Uh, so we've got a minute to go, folks. Thanks very much. Oh, you know, it's a bit messy, isn't it? Uh, all right, let me check everything's cool. Make sure you've got some questions. There's not, I mean... There's kind of a lot to say about this app, and there isn't, because it, it's a very intuitive thing. It, it does, it's, it's really clear what it does, but, um, but, but Steve uh, will chip in, of course, from Replica 4. It's great to have him here, because he'll be able to answer any questions you've got, and he invented the thing, he put the work into it. So, um, But I'll say all that again in a minute, so sorry if you've... If you, oh, I've got my... Um, for those of you who come here regularly... I said I couldn't bear, I think I mentioned it the other day, to not have the one uh, Simon Aronson book and I actually ordered it the other day. <laughs> Did I say that? And mine is eight years old, ancient, I know. So um, for those of you that have uh, been asking, I will be reviewing the David Regal book next. So, and, and if you haven't watched it yet, watch the review of um, Fake Genius, which isn't usually my kind of book, but I thought there's, there's, there's some interesting stuff to say on it. So... Um, too much pressure. <laughs> right, it's five o'clock. Uh, thanks very much. Welcome to Real Magic Review. My name is Steve Faulkner. Um, please do like, subscribe, whether you're watching this live or watching this later. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. It does really make a huge difference. Uh, these live ones are very rambly, but that's the whole fun of them. So it'll probably be quite long, but do stick around. We come up with some nice ideas. Steve from Replica 4D is here with us so he can answer any questions on the on the on the feed um at the end of it what i've noticed is that i've kind of said goodbye and someone's asked a question and i've said goodbye and someone's asked a question what i'll do try and do this time i'm very bad at it is try and stop when i say i'm going to stop and not feel bad if you've still got stuff to say because what you can then do is go on to the comments once the video is up you know, once it goes onto YouTube as a permanent video, there's a whole other comment section. So what I'll do is I'll write down the questions I haven't answered, take them into the next live or the next video. Um, but you can also put comments on that and I get them and they stay there. So they're a little bit easier for me to work with. So I do take all the comments really seriously. Um, and lucky enough, it's not like I'm a mega YouTuber with, you know, 14 million people. So I can answer most of your questions. Uh, so, hey, how you doing? Deceptive engineer from... Um, from India, he started a review channel and doing street magic on his channel. And I, like he said, he's just starting and seeing where it takes him. So um, give him a little like, that'd be good. Um, just signed up for Card Magic Course. Yeah, you did. Thank you. Uh, yeah, and I'll mention that. Cardmagiccourse.com is my online card magic course. I've been filming for the last couple of days on it for my Royal Road to Card Magic Course. And a couple of people asked questions. Somebody was having problems with a double lift uh, with some mobility issues in his hand after surgery. Uh, so I gave him some alternatives which I'm posting tomorrow, and someone was uh, struggling with one of the uh, shuffles that we do. So it's really one-on-one -on -one this. If you have trouble with everything on the course, you email me and I make a video and pop it on the course. It's bound to help someone else as well. So, uh, so check out cardmagiccourse.com because one day I'll have enough people on there, we'll sign up for that, and I'll be able to do this forever and do reviews every day, which is what people have said they want, uh, and not actually have to leave the office at all to see human beings, which would be lovely. Um, right. So I'll let you know, first of all, what Repl Replica 4D is. I was at the session and I, I think it was Stephen, wasn't it? It wasn't you, Steve, was it? It was the other Stephen that was at the, the session. 
um, was was selling that. And I, I'm going to be totally honest. I'm so a lot of people say I'm not really an app person. I'm not. I'm kind of intrigued with them, but it, I wasn't. I don't, I'm not drawn to apps. So it's a, it's a good one for me to review this because I'm someone that isn't like an app fan. I don't have loads of apps on my phone. And weirdly enough, there's there's different types of apps, isn't there? They're the ones where the app does the work and they're the ones where you worry that people kind of go, are people just going to think it's an app? That sort of thing. And there are things where, like this, which we'll talk about in a minute, I think come into a different camp. And there are also things like wiki tests that, that happen on the, that don't, you don't have to go into an app. It it's kind of happens on the spectator's phone, which is another thing. So I think the first thing, we'll talk, when we'll talk about this later and bring in your questions, the first thing we've got to do is, I think, try and start differentiating. Because at the moment, it's a bit like, I like phone magic, I don't like phone magic. And I think now with phone magic, it, there's so much in it that's, that's different that I think that we can say, I like that phone magic, but I don't like that phone magic. So um, I used a, I'm trying to think of what app I used the other day and it went down really well. I'm trying to think about it. Something like Digital Force Bag, okay? I was in Blackpool, no, Digital Force Bag. You know, when I read what that is, I kind of went, no, that's not going to do it for me. But then you see what you can do around that idea that is actually physical routines around that, that you're not you're using the app for part of it, but then you're bringing it into almost like a classic routine. Um, it's something else that's happening. So it's really annoying me. I did a trick. Oh, that was it. The, the turn of watch thing. I do the turn of watch thing. So that uses an app, but ends up with a thing that happens out here on the watch. And this is my turn of watch, by the way. There is an affiliate link down there if you want the classic version. I won't say anything more about it, but they are very good. Um, that's the end of the plugs, honestly. Um, so this, this comes into... What I don't like is I don't like doing a trick that involves me at some point going like that and trying to work something out. And, and, and then it all happens there. The stage kind of becomes, it, it, it's, it becomes a bit weird for me and, and things can go wrong. This isn't like that. What this is, it's, a, it's an object from phone effect. So now look, I'm going to try and demonstrate in a minute. I really, I can't, doing it up here is a bit weird. You have to kind of, you can do it. But so I'm going to do it in a very basic way. And apologies if I get this wrong, but it doesn't, it's not the app's fault. It's my fault because I've played with this a bit now. But so if I shake, you've got, three objects there okay and now if I was to touch that and I bring out an object there this is at its most basic form okay if I put that away and um, there are loads more things you can do with that and that they will put that there and that leaves just one there and you wouldn't usually do it like this but you can see that 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 comes out at the top there so, so that's someone who really doesn't know what he's doing that's that's what it does at its basic form so there are many, many ways of doing it. And this is why this is different. It's not just it does that, that's the thing. So basically you, you, can, you can make things appear on your phone and do a various amounts of things with them. You can make three coins appear, four coins appear, one coin appear. Importantly, you can make any coin appear. You can do it on a timer. So if you can put a coin into it. So if I just, let me try and do this. Um, so if I was to, uh, so if, how can I do this? All right, I'll do, I'll do it like that. So I'll put the, the coin in like that. But that isn't how you do it. You do a false transfer and then put it in. Um, so you can, the whole thing works around this, this screen that looks, it's making weird noises now. Looks brilliant. Looks, nobody would sus suspect anything. And it, it, what they call it the stage. There are lots of things that can happen that are different on that screen. You can set timers. You can make things appear after a certain amount of time that counts down. It's I'm not really doing it justice. There is a lot you can do with this, but the important thing is you're pulling objects out of a phone and putting them back in again. You might think we've seen this before, and I, if, what is that card to phone effect that you used to do? The, one, the, the difference to me, the card to phone effect is great, and you can do it with objects that it gives you. The thing you can do here is do many things with that. This has got this idea of detail. It's the sound that the coins make when they appear. It's the amount of coins that can appear. It's the stuff you can do with them. But also, this, and it, it matters this, you, you look at the coins, and if you move the phone like this, the coins reflect as if they're reflecting light. So it's really intuitive like that. It, it, there's a real sense of, of detail about this. But what you can do, and this is the important thing, you can customize what appears on that phone. So. It doesn't have to be a coin, but if you want it to be a different kind of coin, it can be any coin. And, well, we're we'll going to this in a minute, the, the tutorials. You can also use any object that, that is, and, and you size it as well. So you can use a, the other thing with a domino. You can use a piece of sushi. You can, whatever you want, you can pull out of that phone and put back in it again. 
So there's that. There's also this idea of there's a brilliant bit, and have a look at the at the trailer for this. There's a four coin routine where you pluck four coins out the phone, um, but the fourth coin kind of fires out of the phone physically, and it just looks and it's so simple, but it looks so amazing. When I first saw this, I genuinely thought that maybe some of it was a bit like, yeah, no, does it really look like that? Honestly, it does, and it's brilliant fun. Once you start using this, it's brilliant fun. What else is really clever is that rather than just pull things out the screen, you can go into your Instagram, which is exactly your Instagram, really, as you create it, which we'll talk about in a minute, um, and you throw, and, or Facebook or WhatsApp, you scroll down, you find one of the photos in there, and you do the same thing with that. So the photo sh could be of a coin with some stuff in it. You shake it, the coin comes out of the photo and sort of drops down on the Instagram feed. It looks incredible. And so that adds this other kind of reality to it. And you can do that, like I said, with, with a lot of the other social medias. There are some routines in this that he talks you through. The co four coin routine is there. Um, but the customizability of this is important. Now, when I hear the word customizability with apps, part of me panics because I kind of think, oh, I've got to go through hours of kind of going in the back end of this. And it's really simple. It's really clever as well. The way he uses the photo app to to create the objects and create the coins you want to use. I went through it this morning. But what's important is it, he takes you through step by step. So within the app, well, we talk about whether it's an app or not, it is an app, but um, there are all the videos, everything you want, and, and he takes you through really gently and holds you by the hand and talks you through every single, and like he says on it, I'll take you through this, we'll do it together. So you're kind of doing it with him. So. Again, and you can learn all this on your phone. You don't have to go to a PC or anything. It all happens there. Um, I thought I thought some lovely routines with this because I like the idea of, of mixing classic routines with a phone. So remember, this isn't an, an app that does the trick. This is an app that creates the magic out here. So you're pulling coins out. They're real coins. You're putting them back into the phone. I thought it'd be lovely to do a thing at a table saying, look, I've got to get a bit down with the kids. I'm a bit old now and I do all this classic stuff. So I'm going to do something modern, take three coins out the phone and go into a really classic routine, <laughs> do the whole routine and then end up putting them back in the phone. And that's your idea of a modern trick. There's so much scope for all that. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I need to, to cover about what it actually does. Uh, I've got a few notes up there. Um, reflective customising, uh, no, it's, I've, I've mentioned everything. There are different ways of, of taking, making the coins appear. You can do them with a shake, a touch, or, and you can change the sensitivity of everything. You can customise all the tiny little details, even the amount of shine on the side of the coin. And, and again, all those things are really easy. They make sense. They're not, you don't have to go in and put like, different numbers into different things or anything like that. It's all sliders, and it all, like I said, it's all there. So the good points of this are it, it's not an app either in the way that... It, the way you do it is you go onto the Replica 4D site and you, add, you do the add to home screen thing. And the funny, the funny and you know that creates like a, what looks like an app on your thing, but you're not, you're sort of bypassing the app store. Uh, what that means is when you open the app, you've got to be online, but what you haven't got to be online once it's open. So you can kind of open it with 4G or anything and just go into your venue, uh, which I don't think is a problem at all. Um, but it was very funny. I, I was trying to add it to my home screen and usually you look at it, don't you? And you, you open up a web page and you swipe up and it says add to home screen. And it didn't say it and I can find it anywhere. And I Googled it, I can find it. So Steve from Vegas got on, <laughs> on the phone to me and said, I'll talk you through it. And it was so lovely of him. And I've got another story about him as well and it's going to make me sound biased, but it didn't. Um, and he's, and he, so um, he's there from Vegas, different time zones and everything. And he says, right, have you swiped up and does it say uh, add to home screen? I'm saying, no, it's not there. And he goes, right, swipe up again. And it was there. So he bless him, he got on the phone to me um, after I'd spent no money on this app because he gave it me to review and then talked me through that, which I thought, well, it, it just shows what they do. By the way, Steve used to be part of Hot Tricks and I remember buying my hands, my fake hands from Hot Tricks for, for that trick. I can't remember what it's called, the spirit cloth, isn't it? Um, and, the, and the thumbs and that, which is quite interesting. So uh, that was really nice. And another story, this is nothing to do with anything, but I... Uh, wanted a book delivered, Tom Gagnon book from America, and it was like $50 to get delivered. And he said, I'll do it for you. Um, just give us the money, it'll be cheaper because of business. Uh, and he sent it to me and it arrived today. Thanks, Steve. And um, 
And then he's, he, he showed me the tracking number and it said about $47, <laughs> that's the same price. I said, it's okay, I'll PayPal it you. And he said, no, don't worry about it. You sort it out later and um, you send some from England to me that I'll need. So I just thought that was really sweet. So uh, it just shows what sort of people we're dealing with when, when they're creating an app. And, and I think a lot of care has gone into this. It isn't someone, he, I think he spent a lot of time on this and Steve, you'll be able to kind of back this up, I'm not sure, but it just looks like he spent a lot of time on this app. I think when we were messaging each other, he said this has been his kind of baby for, for a while. So, so that's the good points is it looks beautiful. Everything looks great. It's great fun to play with. Importantly, and this is where it differs from a lot of apps, this looks very, very, very magical. When you see it, look at the trailers. Don't go with what I've just done. Look at what happens. Look at the thing with the spoon and the sugar and pulling the little police badge out. I know that you can customize all that stuff. And you start realizing what you've got here. You can basically take your props out of a phone to do your routines and then put them back in again. I think in any situation, in close up, of course it's a phone, so you can't, but in close up, you're gonna, you're gonna it, with people standing around the phone, it's just gonna be very cool. Uh, on a table, when people stand around a table, there's a lot of scope for this. Uh, I don't usually watch reviews, but I just checked to see if I was being over enthusiastic about this. Because I was thinking maybe people don't. And, but I think across the board, people have been really enjoying this. And I think it's because it's really cool. And it's not just about the app. Um, bad points about it. Don't know. Don't know. I haven't, you know, I've played with it a lot and it doesn't seem to be crashing. It, doesn't, it seems to work very well. It doesn't seem to have to rely on anything that might any Bluetooth connections or anything like that, which, are, which worries me a little bit, but saying that I do the watch, it's not a problem. So um, I can't find anything wrong with it at the moment, but just uh, obviously not perfect for every situation, but we know that. So there's that. I, I want to mention a couple of things um, in a minute when we talk about phone magic, but I want to go to the questions now. So this is going to be me putting my head down. Sorry, but let's have a look. Um, yes, works on Android. That's another good point. Um, yeah, good, um, someone mentioned could be good for sponge balls. If you watch the videos on the website, not on, you don't have to have it to watch the videos. There's all the videos on it that people have made and sent in, put on YouTube. Uh, and there's a doctor in India that does it with sponge balls, and it looks brilliant. And, it, and you, as a magician, obviously you're going, oh, that's the other thing, the good point, it's really easy, right? So the four coin thing is going to take a little bit of practice, but to one coin, in and out, very easy, and again, it looks magical. So don't forget, they're looking at the phone, so there's, there's no heat on anything else that might be, you know, in, in, the, uh, in the hands. Um, you don't own a phone. There you go. <laughs> ain't going to work for you. <laughs> Don't see it in the Google store. No, it's not. An, you've got to get it from the Replica 4D. I'll put because it doesn't really work as an app. You, you, it is an app, but it works through the website as a daylight sounds gimmick. Absolutely. Uh, can't wait to see your lecture at the Leicester Magic Circle. Yay, that'd be good. Um, sound and looks great. Yeah, the sound is a big deal. There's, there's, this hits all the senses. Sensory, auditory, kinesthetic, even though it's not feel the sound, and the, it feels like it's got weight to it when that coin falls. So it feels like a... A weight. There's a lot to this, and I think some people miss out those details and not understanding magic how important that is. So you know, putting the coin into the phone and it making that sound is is really cool. And obviously, if you're in a really loud environment, you're not going to hear that. But you can and you can adjust the sounds by the way when you customise your objects and and the sizes and everything. Um, I've got a BT landline, but the cord won't reach down the local path. <laughs> Very good. Uh, Steve says, because if you're watching this late, you're not going to see it. It comes with unlimited licenses for all Android and uh, iOS, iPhones uh, you own. And you can download unlimited amounts of apps and turn them into hundreds of separate routines. Yeah, that's a really good point. I forgot about that. So you can, you can add to home screen lots of different replica 4Ds and open them up and they'll be ready for different things. So whatever you want to do. So it isn't like you've got to scroll through and get it all ready. Because like I said, you can change the amount of coins that appear. You can change how they appear. You can change timing, all that kind of stuff. So you're going to have a lot of fun doing that. Um, so that's, I'll go to questions on that in a minute. But I said about earlier on about phone magic. I think I'm kind of repeating myself a bit, but... You know, some people say I don't like card magic, I don't like mentalism, and I think it's, it's sort of zooming out a bit and seeing actually within that what we, can, what we can do, not what they are. I think the minute we put a label on something, it becomes a thing we do or don't like. And I, I think that that 
can be really limiting for us. So, and I've been guilty of it. I was like, for music, like when I was a kid, I was into metal and punk, and anything that wasn't metal was ridiculous. And everybody that didn't like metal or punk was an idiot. <laughs> I <laughs> genuinely, I kind of look down on them a bit. And then when you zoom out and try and be honest with yourself and go, do I like that? And when I started, st started listening to Bowie, I realised it was and that opened out a whole new thing. And now I'm 46 to listen to anything, uh, clearly. But it, it really does kind of constrict you and, and constrain you. So I think that, that to actually listen to what, what affects you when you see it. So when I saw this, I kind of did get that little magical, oh, I didn't go, it's a phone tree. It's like I tried to bypass all that. Um, and saw it as, what, what did I feel when I saw it? What do I feel when I'm playing with it? And what am I going to feel like when I'm performing it? And all of those things is irrelevant, when it, whether it's on a phone, with a coin, with a sponge ball, anything like that. It's, it's about magic. It's about, is it magical for you to perform? Is it going to look magical for the people to do? There's a few um, other things that, I've, that it should remind me of. A wiki test is the classic one. But somebody sent me, um, and I'm going to... Just forgive me a minute because I've got the thing open there. Uh, I'm just going to have a look because I want to get the... Lior Manor. I think that's how you say it. Lior, isn't it? I, he sent me the pronunciation of it. Uh, Lior Manor. Uh, sent me is selfie card trick. Thing. <laughs> and I'm just going to double check that because I want to get this right. And when I, this... When I saw this... Yeah, selfie card trick, that's what it's called. I didn't see it, I saw the title of it, and part of me kind of went, oh, selfie card, it's just going to be like, take a selfie or something like that. I'm, I'm not going to give it away, but what I will say is that this is another thing of a phone trick. Yes, it's a phone trick, but it uses a phone in a totally different way, and I think this is brilliant. I, just as a, and you see, I'm, it, whenever I smile like this, <laughs> I saw the ad for it, and I, the two things you, you see when you look at this um, phone trick, this selfie card trick. First of all, he shows you what the audience see or what they see through the phone, which is him walking around the audience, and you can do a live feed onto the screen, right? Him looking around the audience, putting it into some, somebody on stage, uh, picks a card, and then he goes around the audience, they can hold the phone and go around to different, any random of the audience, say red or black card, and they go red, and, and basically the audience members get the card. And it's really funny, and it's, there's so much scope for it. And it, it works, all I'll say is it's a kind of updated with a phone version of the card on the forehead, or the, or the paper balls over the head. It's brilliant. And, uh, and he s sells that on his site. And again, there's no affiliation here, but credit where credit's due. What you're buying there is the idea, but because you just kind of be buying the idea, he adds another thing in there, one of his other routines. But Lior Manor, L-I-O-R-M-A-N-O-R, -I, -O -O I think. Uh, check out that. Just have a look at it and see what you think. Because if you do work stage or those bit of parlour, I think that you, you can get a good five, ten minutes of laughs out of that one idea. So, again, a way to use a phone in a different idea, a different way. So, I'm starting to see things like digital force bag. The stuff that Nick Einhorn was doing at Blackpool with that was really interesting because it was about the routine he was doing with me after the thing. We almost forget about the phone thing and, and he went into this, this, this other thing using like QR code. Very, very clever. Um, the the wicked, um, earworm, things like that. The card to phone, which I reviewed way early, early days, which did require a little bit of tech. And that's what puts people off. Is do you have to be techy to do it? And it can feel like that intimidation when you first get an app, that you've got to go in and do this stuff. But once you start doing it, you realise how intuitive it is. So I think people are realising now that they have to create apps than anybody. Even an idiot like me can go in and customise. And that's what this has definitely done. Uh, so let's go to questions. Here we go. Uh, hey, Aiden Chico from Vegas. Hey, you can go and see Steve. And, uh, I'm chilling. Um, do you have a p to program a routine or can you change it up in the performance? Uh, yeah, I think, well, there's a certain amount of flexibility. Yeah, you don't have to set a fixed routine. Yeah, abso yeah absolutely. Um, yeah, Steve, I haven't played with that end of it. I've kind of looked at each thing separately So, because I haven't used it in, in the real world yet. But Steve's answered you there. Uh, or would you trade for one of my kids? <laughs> I know this is unrelated, but could you have done a review for the Troy Who's the Coin Magic books by Vanish Link? Uh, Troy Who's the book? Ask me again in a minute when we've finished the conversation on this, and I'll answer that. Um, but I, will, I can do, yeah. I, can, I mean, I've got a lot of books to review at the moment. They're, they're, they're brilliant. I don't know if you've seen them on the shelf. They're, they're here somewhere, aren't they? 
Um, oh God, I haven't lent them to anybody. That would be terrible. I'll lose sleep. Yeah, they're there. Um, is there an app that makes... Have you fell in the building ring? I'm sure I've seen something like that. One of the TV talent shows. Yeah, there's loads of gag stuff like that. Uh, Will's asking if there's an app that makes everything ring. Um, does the app periodically get updates and require a fresh download? Uh, I'm saying, I'm, I know a lot of you can read this, but people later on won't see these quotes. So Dane is asking whether you need to periodically re-download. Um, Keep kids hit me up for specials um, have you got an answer for that updates are automatic and you don't have to re-download the app they're great uh, go on britain's got talent if that's about me no i wouldn't i, wouldn't, I don't want to be that busy uh, not that i'd get anywhere but if i did you get really busy don't you uh will says replica 4d i'd like to see an app that can perform uh Venom black's mind peak it should be easy enough to program are you familiar with it it's a propless mentalism routine would be great as an app i'll let steve ask that one but i don't know I don't know the answer to that. Um, so let me just go back. Oh, that's the yeah. So someone mentioned updates, and what I've noticed with a lot of apps recently is that there was the one I'm trying to use was the just the Rising Carb one that I've seen Chris Kenner put out. Um, in Tesseract, the Mike Powers book, he's got a really lovely routine with that Rising Card. Thing. And that didn't appeal to me. I mean, it's a great app because you sort of, they pick a car and, you, and it, ri it rises up. I think it's great. But, it, but it, mine isn't working now. So there's this thing, isn't there, which we've got slightly older phones. Do these apps get a bit out of date? And I know that uh, with a product review mentioned another app that they were saying that, that um, that's gone out of date as well. So it's kind of gutting, especially if you're paying this, you know, because this isn't a cheap app. It's not. And I, I think it's fairly priced i think a lot of work's gone into it i think a lot you can get out of it but you know it's it's priced that way and that's how much it is so we make a choice based on you know what we read and with with steve being honest about what it does and what it doesn't do which he is being which is cool um so i don't think we can complain about the price i think we can look at the price and say can we or can't we afford it or justify it um but you know it's important those things like are you going to turn it on in the year and it's not going to work and that's the worry with things like the turner watch isn't it because you go is it, and obviously that's not going to happen because got, those guys are right on it and that's their main product. But you just want that kind of reassurance. And I think the fact that Steve is here and hands on as the Turner Watch guys, they're very, you know, they answer questions, I think, and they're, they're at the conventions. Uh, so we need that reassurance uh, with apps. So uh, the Troy Hooser books, um, I, I don't know if I can review them yet because I've got so many. I've got about nine to review, but um, I will say they're great. I'm currently playing with the Chinese challenge what the charming chinese challenge is that what you call it um you know the the coin and the um ribbon thing and and lance pierce came out of a version that dan and dave buck released so you've got two versions it's a beautiful trick but it's i just want to get it right so it's just for those those sort of coin tricks i think it's very very worth it they're great um right so uh, do, do you have any more questions before we go i'll give you a couple of minutes to come in with questions um so my just summary with this app is that I think it's great fun, very magical, as kind of if you're not into magic apps, it's kind of the magic app for people who aren't into magic apps. It's, you bring stuff into the real world, do real world magic, and then use the phone to kind of facilitate that, uh, which I think is very, very cool. I think he's done a great job in allowing it to be customized, um, and I can't really think of many bad points about it at the moment. I've played with it quite a lot. I haven't taken it out, but with stuff like that, you don't have to think, is it going to go down well? You don't put a coin out of a phone and people just go, oh, you, it, it looks great. And you don't need to be able to do knuckle-busting sleight of hand to do it either because they ain't even looking at the thing that happens just seconds before um, the, the, the stuff comes into play. Uh, so thank you very much. One last little look, and I'll leave you on your merry way. I'll be doing the lives, uh, another one on Monday. I'm going to try and get the David Regal book done for Monday, um, about halfway through it, so we'll, we'll have a look at that. But please come with any questions. Um, if I leave now and you've got more questions, put them on the end of here and I'll have a look. But also make sure that you comment on the video once it's up. There'll be a fresh thread on there, and you can comment on anything you like. And I do get every single comment and read them, and just thank you so much. Uh, for that. Very much appreciated. I'll just check that I haven't missed anything. Um, and I'm going to see Looch. Uh, oh, that's what I'm going to talk about maybe on Monday, actually. Hi from Toronto, Colin. How are you doing? Uh, where'd you get it and how much? I'll put the links below. Uh, I think don't think I've missed anything there. 
Yeah, so I might do uh, some of Luch's stuff on Monday as well. I'm going to Luch's lecture tonight. If you're anywhere near Sheffield, he's lecturing down at Magic Enterprises. Um, but I think most of you will know that. So thanks very much. Go and check out Car Magic Calls. Please like and subscribe. If you mention this to any of your friends on the Magic Cafe, anything like that, I'm not saying blatantly share it for no reason, but it, it, word of mouth is kind of the best I've got at the moment. Thank you for everybody that's sending me stuff at the moment. A lot of you are, and I will get to it. It just takes me some time. Uh, so have a good one, everybody. Um, let me just double check there's not one major thing. Thanks for you. No worries. Thanks, everyone. Um, I'll be faffing about for a couple of minutes, but I'll say thanks, goodbye, cheerio, and stop streaming.